Hello YouTube. This is my second video on the process of artificial photosynthesis. Artificial photosynthesis is a replication of what plants do in nature when they capture sunlight energy and convert that into organic compounds such as glucose and other compounds for growth. And what you're looking at here is a 12 volt 3 watt solar cell uh, which is capturing solar energy right now and uh, it's connected to an electrolytic cell which is filled with a 0 0.1 molar uh, solution of sodium bicarbonate and if we zoom in uh, to the anode first you can see that uh, the anode is a gold plate a very thin gold plate which is now producing oxygen gas as well as carbon dioxide because uh, we're using sodium bicarbonate as the as the electrolyte And so really, this is a byproduct of the process. Uh, none of these compounds are really that significant in the process of artificial photosynthesis. So if we zoom into the cathode, the cathode end is really where all of the action takes place. The cathode right now is producing hydrogen, and this is a platinum cathode. And you'll notice that um, it's, it's a wire mesh cathode. Um, because I, I thought that that would facilitate any chemical reactions that would occur by increasing the surface area. So it's producing hydrogen gas and it also uh, in the middle there we have a nephion membrane which separates the two which basically um, is a proton exchange membrane which does not allow the oxygen and hydrogen to mix. Uh, and so going back to the cathode, um, this produces hydrogen gas and when carbon dioxide is pumped into this this side of the solar cell, uh, the energy from the electrical current uh, will produce organic compounds, hopefully. And I just want to add that this is truly an experiment in the classic sense because um, I, I really uh, was not able to uh, to figure out the exact details of how these experiments were set up. Um, in my next video I'm going to attempt to use a titanium dioxide uh, which is supposed to be a catalyst um, to uh, produce these organic compounds. And so titanium dioxide is, uh, is used to fix the CO2 and to reduce the um, to combine with the hydrogen and reduce the CO2 to form organic compounds. So uh, stay tuned for my next video. And thank you for watching.